Today I will show you a very early version of the Remix plugin for Onyx. Just to be clear, you don't need to use a plugin. Right? You can add Onyx to any workspace that contains the Remix app in it, you know, and you will get cache and everything else, right? What the plugin does, it adds extra affordances, like generators, integration with existing tools, like Cypress, the storybook, you know, things like that. So let's get started by creating a new workspace and passing the Narrow Remix uh, plugin as a preset. As you can see, we have a remix app with the npm scripts you can recognize, right? So now we can run those npm scripts via Nx. Right? If I type in Nx build uh, web app, it's going to run the build script. And if I type it again, right, if I run it again, the second time it will be fast because Nx is going to use computation caching to detect that, you know, nothing has changed. Right? So the result will be instant. And of course I can serve the app and it works just fine. The first thing I want to show you is creating new routes. If I click on the folder and I pick the route generator, I'll be able to customize a few things about the route. Right now, there is not much going on in here because it's basically a prototype. And once I'm happy with it, right, I know that the next comes with a virtual file system. So when I explore the generator and customize different options, nothing happens to disk, right? It actually runs the generator legit against the virtual file system and shows me what is going to be updated if I choose to, to run it. In this case, you know, it looks legit, I like it. I can generate this route. So route is there. Now let's wire it up to our main app, right? and make sure it works, and it does. Now let's say we want to create a library of UI components, sort of like the design system, right? Well, we can do it as follows. Again, it looks fine. And once we're done generating it, we have a buildable, testable, and editable library you know, created for us, okay? Now let's wire it up. Uh, to do that, we need to go to the package.json file of our app and add a dependency uh, to this library. It points to this because that's where the build target for the library is going to write its artifacts to. Okay, so once we run the target, the artifacts are there. And we can actually use the library right now in our app right, by importing it and wiring it up using the component. And if we refresh the app, you'll see that the component uh, works. One of the bad things about Onyx plugins is that they allow you to connect a bunch of existing tools right, in a seamless way. Uh, since this library is a design systems library, we're going to, say, create a storybook configuration for it. Right, so I'm going to right click on the library and generate the storybook configuration. And again, you know, there are a bunch of options I can pick from and explore. What I want to highlight is the one that generates Cypress specs for my components that I would develop in storybook, right? Uh, I can turn it off, but let's say I want to keep it on, right? And once this is ready, I have everything set up. And if I want to run my storybook configuration, it's very easy. I can just click on it and it works. Next, let's say I want to test my Remix application using Cypress. That's pretty easy to do. I can just generate Cypress config for my Remix app, right? This looks good. And as you can see, the spec looks right, right? Now I need to uh, serve the app and uh, run the tests. So by default, the Cypress tests will run in the headless way, right? But if I want to run them in a headed way, let's say if something failed, I can do it as well. Before we wrap up, let's look at the depth graph of our workspace. And uh, here it is. 